our mission was twofold. One, to produce a model that would select the ideal propulsion system type for a given NASA mission, such as the upcoming Mars lander, using specific systems engineering tools. Second, our goal was to document how these system engineering tools can be used in the process of creating a value model. This documentation will benefit systems engineers in the future, showcasing what went well and what did not in our analysis. It is the knowledge of the implementation of these tools that we feel adds value to the systems engineering community. They can be applied to a wide range of designs, not just a NASA Mars lander. The Mars lander simply showcases how these tools can be implemented. The systems engineering tools we used on this project are the value model, goal function tree, design structure matrix, and sensitivity analysis. A goal function tree is a hierarchical model that represents a system's goals and functions using quantitative decomposition. The goal function tree structure transforms input state variables into output state variables, following paths up the tree. Our initial objective was to build a goal function tree model that we could use to perform simulations understanding how the mission will succeed and how it could fail. To create these trees, we turned to SysML. This presented issues as the modeling language SysML and its tools used for implementation, such as Cameo Enterprise Architect, are not suitable for goal function trees. We detailed these shortcomings in our paper and special topics video, and we believe this research will help modelers and designers in future skip over roadblocks that we encounter quicker and possibly discover additional ways through which goal function trees could be built. A design structure matrix is a tool that displays relationships between elements of a system in a square matrix with identical row and column labels which represent elements or components of a system. This helps a designer systematically identify, define, tabulate, design, and analyze functional and physical relationships. Design structure matrices were used in two capacities. First, we used a DSM to assist in brainstorming relationships between attributes and provide a starting point. This was a collaborative effort between our team and stakeholders. This matrix communicates strength and direction of effect. Next, we created a DSM based on statistical significance of correlation between attributes from historical missions data. It was important to compare and contrast between our initial qualitative understanding of the relationships and what history proves given statistical analysis. Sensitivity analysis is concerned with how changes to the input state variables and the objective function affect the output value. It allows the designer to evaluate how much impact each design variable has on the output of the model. We gathered information on year, cost to build, the propulsion system used, mass, burn duration, and more. We wanted to know mass ranges of hypergolic engines and solid rocket boosters, or specific impulse values for plasma propulsions and solar sails. This data is needed to plug into the value model after creation to validate the model. A designer can then plug in propulsion system values into the value model and receive a score on how well it fits the mission at hand. For example, attributes of a solar sail should result in a very low rank for a rocket needed to escape Earth's gravity. The largest pitfall of this part of the project was proprietary information to which we did not have access. We attempted to work with historians, but government shutdown was an issue. The data that we gathered was of low fidelity. We are less confident in our value model rankings and sensitivity analysis due to this roadblock. Taking the average of two or three systems rather than 20 or 30 yields a high likelihood of error, particularly when it comes to financial data. After gathering this data, the team had an idea to compare the empirical bottom-up value model with a top-down statistical value model. The goal of this was to juxtapose the empirical data value model ranking with a value model created with expert opinions of NASA designers and program managers. A necessary assumption for this model is the aggregated preference of individuals within the organization form the opinion of the organization as a whole. At the conclusion of this project, we have not been able to send and collect this survey. The lengthy and rigorous IRB process caused delays, and the government shutdown was at an unfortunate timing. However, we put extensive work building the framework using simulated data. 
Each member of the team completed the survey themselves and we generated random data of a normal distribution. To create the framework, we used a neural network in MATLAB. We have an entire video detailing this process and outcome. At the conclusion of this senior capstone project, we have created a bottom-up value model for NASA that ranks propulsion systems based on historical data. Further, and perhaps more importantly, we have researched and documented the interactions of system engineering tools relevant to creating a value model, sensitivity analysis, design structure matrices, and goal function trees. Finally, we have compared the bottom-up formation to survey-based or top-down analysis using neural networks. Further research into the interaction of goal function trees and value models is being done by Casey Eaton with Dr. Mesmer in the Imagines Lab at UAH. This team is comprised of Casey Eaton, Trent Rich, Heidi Miller, Cameron McWilliams, and myself, Michael Borman. We'd like to thank Dr. Brian Mesmer of the UAH ICM department for being our project mentor. It is with his guidance, input, and knowledge that we were able to complete this project. Further, this project would not have been possible without the support of Dr. Mike Watson from the System Engineering Consortium at NASA Marshall Space Flight Center. We appreciate the research done by Stephen B. Johnson of Dependable System Technologies, LLC, as well as his willingness to help us implement these goal function trees in SysML. Mark Gathers of the UH ICM department was willing and able to help us with these goal function trees as well.